here we're going to have a practice okay we'll look at the shapes and then we'll take the correct box this is supposed to be what you do alone but i'll just do one with you and you do the other one all right okay the first one look at the yellow boxes or the yellow rectangle and the green one let's look at it can you tell me how many square meters is the yet the yellow one is can you tell me how many square meters just count the boxes you know that each one of them is one centimeter or yeah one centimeter let's use centimeter as our unit so our length is two centimeter or two square centimeter and our breadth uh, uh width sorry how many boxes do we have one two three four we have four so our width is four centimeter the length is two centimeter the width is four centimeter all right now the question what about the green one the green one we have how many boxes in the length we have one two three four so that is four centimeter and our width is what one two three our width is three centimeters now the question says tick the correct box it says the yellow shape has a larger area is that true let's first of all find the area of the yellow shape you know we have four and two four multiplied two is what eight eight square centimeter and then for the green shape let's do our area since we have three as our width and four as our breadth as our uh, length sorry three multiply four is 12 so we have 12 square centimeter now it says you should take the correct one the yellow shape has a larger area is that true no because yellow is eight square centimeter and green is 12 square centimeter he said the green shape has a larger area correct so that's the one we sh we take he said both shapes have the same area no it's not true let's see the second batch of questions the yellow shape has a larger perimeter okay now let's see the perimeter we know now that the yellow shape has two as the length and four as our what our width so the opposite side of our width will also be two and the opposite side of our length of our length will be two and the opposite side of our width will be four so let's add everything together two plus four plus two plus four what do we have 12 but will our answer be in square centimeter no it will be in centimeter only because we are measuring perimeter okay so the perimeter of the yellow is 12 centimeter and the perimeter of the green let's see the perimeter we have three and four right so three plus three plus four plus four so what's our answer six and eight so six plus eight is what I didn't hear you six plus eight is 14 make sure you don't forget all of these things okay keep practicing all right okay now six uh, the peri the perimeter for the green shape is 14 centimeter so it says the yellow shape has a larger perimeter is that true no the green shape has a larger perimeter is that true yes both shapes have the same perimeter is that true no so now you'll be able to answer the remaining ones and send me the answers on class dojo okay all right let's go to the next now i picked this from your workbook as well and the reason is so that you will understand what you're supposed to do the original shape is the rectangle it says it has 18 meter square if you count all the boxes that you will have in that rectangle there will be 18 what the question is telling us to do is make 18 boxes 
of different forms it doesn't have to be the way it is here you know the length of this one let's count how many boxes that we are going to have in the length of the original one that the workbook gave us let's count the length the length will be one two three four five six there are six boxes on the length so the length will be six and the uh width let's count how many squares one two three three we'll have three so it's going to be six by three now you can make your own four uh we must have 18 boxes so you can make it three by that's three on the length and six on the breadth you can make it nine on the length and two uh two on the width you can make it any way you want but make sure you have 18 boxes okay all right then so uh what have we learned today let's see what we've learned so today we've learned how to measure or we've uh learned to understand that area measures the space inside a 2d shape a rectangle or a square unlike the perimeter that measures all the sides outside area measures inside the space inside now the area all is also measured in square units remember what i said to you that it's not like the perimeter where you just leave it in centimeters or in meters here you have to write in cm then a square at the top the two at the top is what you call the square okay so that's what we mean by square meters and we learned to find the missing width that's a width that was missing and we used the uh, area we divided the area by the length to find the width finally and ultimately we've been able to find the area of a square and a rectangle so this brings us to the end of the lesson make sure you practice your student book do what you have left we started it so do what you have left in page 229 and your workbook page 100 and 83 to 186 so so we have another lesson tomorrow make sure you stay safe sanitize your hands all the time and eat healthy food so we meet again tomorrow have a good time bye